So, okay, ladies, so welcome. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about um, kind of a tutorial of PicMonkey and kind of Canva.com and some of the most popular things that we can use to create scroll stopping posts um, for our business because you know you can make an awesome post in the content of what you're saying. And if you can't get somebody to stop on your post, then they're never going to see it. And so like, I know that when I take the time to craft this awesome post and I'm like, Ooh, that was a good one. A lot of the times nobody's seeing it because it's not anything that stopped them from scrolling. And so it's hard for those of us who have issues with technology, like I do. This is one of the things that I find the most challenging about this business because I'm not a photographer. And I'm not somebody that feels like I'm naturally good at creating these really catchy images. And sometimes people will tell me that I am with food or with something, but um, I have learned everything from watching other coaches, going to their pages and saying like, okay, what, what do I like about, like if there was a post that caught my eye, why did it catch my eye? Was it the lighting? Was it that, you know, that where she positioned the writing? Was it, you know, what, what is it? And so you'll find um, that if you start paying attention to your, well, sit, down. sit down before you pull out that cord, sit down. If you start paying attention to your posts, which ones are generating a lot of clicks, which ones are not? Um, what is it that you're, you know, you're doing that's working and what's not? So it's important to have a good visual. And we all know in terms of Facebook affinity that if we don't actually have, um, you know, like it's, it's the pictures and the videos that are getting the most Facebook is showing them to the most amount of people. So you could write two sentences and put it up and barely anybody's going to see it. So the images are really important, but we've also all seen good images and we've seen bad images. And so like we've seen a lot of new coaches, um, or if you haven't yet, maybe you've done it yourself. And then later you'll look back and be like, Oh, that was terrible. Every coach I've heard at summit has been able to share some of their early visuals and been like, I can't believe I posted that. It was so salesy, like 21 day fix challenge pack on sale. Like, ah, like we're not salesy, but we don't ever want to do that. There's enough of that in our news feeds already. Like we're getting bombarded by people who are trying to sell us things and we don't want to be somebody doing that. And coaches were never intended to be that. We're just supposed to be sharing what it is of the, that this journey is doing for us, sharing our food, sharing what we eat, sharing how, because we want to help people because most people don't know that they don't have to count calories anymore, that they don't have to live deprived, that they can enjoy what they eat. Most people don't know that they can do this. They can get their body back or take care of themselves in 22 minutes a day. Most people don't know that they don't need to spend the pricey gym membership. Most people don't know what Shakeology is and why and how it could help them just the convenience factor alone. Like, so there's stuff, but we have to be careful how we word it and how we get it across. And images really help us do that. So, um, I could easily take you and show you, like, you can go to google.com and type in like 21 day fix sale or something. And you can find some really salesy things that people that it's usually new coaches because we're all just, there's a learning curve and we don't know, um, that they're like, that it's not the kind of advertisement that you want to make. What you want on your advertisement is you. So it needs to have a picture of your face, even if it's a small one. Um, if it's a picture of you working out or a picture of your results, there's nothing more important that you can ever post in this business than your transformations. People need to see, and it doesn't always have to be, um, like you won't have a transformation Tuesday of yourself to post every single week, right? So it might be um, that it's a picture of you holding a pair of jeans or like Stephanie posted a great one a couple weeks ago when she was in the fitting room and it was like the very first time that she did not hate going shopping because she has lost so much weight and she felt great in what she was trying on. That's somebody's life that changed as a result of the programs and the products what they've done. That's a great post. Um, I posted one like that too, as I was realizing that I actually had a little bit of money to spend on me, but for me, it was more about guilt and the fact that I always felt like it'd be, it'd be bad for me to spend money on myself. So I made a post in a fitting room as well several months ago that got a lot more likes than any post I had ever really posted outside of me giving back to my son, where it was like, it really resonated with a lot of moms who feel guilt about spending money on stuff. So that's our, we want to be showing people our growth, our journey or whatever. But at the same time, you know, there's a business that we're growing and it's important to kind of learn how to train ourselves and how to use social media to grow those businesses. Because you, like I said, you can have all the great posts and the great content and great things to say in your blog or in your post all day long and no one's going to see it if you can't get them to stop scrolling. And so it has to be something different than what everybody's posting. And although Photofy is a wonderful app that you can use quickly and easily, I don't recommend it for making ads. And I'll show you the big differences. So 
let me share my screen here and show you guys um, some of the ads I've created. And they won't be different. Um, where did I put this one? I think it's on my Google Drive. This thing is a mess. Um, so there we go. The Photofy ones are all I can show, go on to my Facebook and show you which ones um, were created with Photofy and which ones weren't. But there's a big difference. And I actually think I just did it. Yeah. Hold on. Let me show you this first. So this. And then we'll hop over to PicMonkey and I'll show you how to do it. Put all my tabs that are open as I've been trying to get this blog up again. Okay, so on my personal page, just last week, I'm sure you guys saw for the Trade the Treats, I all day long planned on making an ad and I had a really couple good ideas for it. And my day went completely sideways and I wound up being at small group and trying to like, I was like going to run to the bathroom and make it. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be like, I'm going to be here and be present. And then later tonight I will just do that. Um, so where is it? my photos. Um, so I could, all I could do was use um, pick monkey really fast and so PicMonkey I like to use for things like this. Yesterday we went to the zoo and I can be walking around the zoo from one animal to the next and just open up that app on my phone, select the four pictures or three or two and it'll give you a template and it's quick and easy, right? It's something just to show people what you're doing, post something during a high traffic time, whatever. Um, however, the, and this was PicMonkey, this was just an easy, hey, I'm gonna throw out my meal plan and what my fridge looks like right now and my grocery cart today to show people like I haven't meal planned in forever. And by setting myself up for success, I have felt way better the last two days despite hormones and other things going on. But I've actually stayed on track with my food. Like it, it works. Like what we what we preach to people, it works. Like if we stop doing it ourselves, it stops working, but then we can always get back on track, right? So like that post, um, that was something just easy to throw in there. But then you can look and to me, something like this looks better. And I don't know if you guys think so, but this was something that I did um, with Word Swag. And Word Swag, I think, is an app that I use almost more commonly now, where to me, like I just went to Walmart and I got a little fall decor for my table and I brought in my little pumpkin from the front porch and I put my um, clean eating cookies because cookies are something that people just love that I'm always trying to just add to the value. Like I found this recipe. It was great. You should try it. It's a part of the coach life. Like I was stuff shared one last night and people love those. And even if you don't get a lot of reaction, I have been finding you cannot trust. You cannot trust the likes on your posts or anything like that at all. And if there's anything I could tell you to encourage you in this area, because it took me a long time of coaching where I was getting six likes on an insanity picture or a hashtag on my drawer or beach. And at first I was kind of like, if no one's liking that, if no one's seen it, maybe I shouldn't find that. That's, that's, you know, Bill Gates, everybody who's up there on top, this is how they started. They start small. Dave Ramsey, there's tons of rejection. There's tons of failure. There's tons of people not being open to it. You just got to stick with it. What I learned is like a couple weeks ago, I saw that Tina messaged me and said, I love your post this morning. You can't share it. I was like, of course, like I always tell my team, you don't ever have to ask me, just take anything of mine. Um, and what was interesting though, is so she copied and pasted it and shared the image. And one of her coaches did the same. And I've been noticing Amanda and other people um, taking some of my images and things that I've been doing and sharing them. But yet I go back to that post and I looked and I see that they never liked my post. They never commented on my post. It was so good that they wanted to share it themselves, but they didn't even like or comment on it. And although I wasn't, at first I was like, well, that's kind of stinky. And so as a coach, I took a lesson from that. I can't control what anybody else does, but I always want to give somebody credit that's due to them. So I will like or come. I want to help them grow their, their business. If it was that good, I'm going to do that before I share it. But like it, it tells you and reminds you, I, Tina went and posted that and she got like 20 likes. Mine had like six. But I got a ton of people that messaged me about it and people asking. So it's never a good reflection. You can never just gauge it by likes, right? So you kind of got to let that go. But there's things that just look better than others. So this, um, I don't know where my one went. Oh, here it is. This is um, PicMonkey that I'll open and show you guys now. And you can't quite do this in Photofy. 
So like you can't take a little picture of yourself. It's, it's a much cleaner cut. It's a much more professional image than, and honestly, I personally find it quick and easy. It just takes a little knowing exactly what you're doing. So, um, but I felt like they look way better. I got a new challenger and coach off of this. Uh, you can see that there are people that were commenting um, and ads don't do well for me. And um, you guys might, I think I know stuff's kind of like me like this. So I've had to get creative about when I used to post a photo file one, um, like my defeat the sweets group, or I'm sorry, the trade the treats that we're doing right now. I can't, I don't know why I don't see it, but that picture was just a photo file. Really? It didn't, it didn't look that great. I don't know where it is, but nobody, barely anybody liked it. Like nobody joined the group, like whatever. And I'm not saying it's only because of the ad, but there's a definite difference in what they look like. So the only downfall to PicMonkey is that PicMonkey is not available on a cell phone. However, I think it's free and it's worth it. And PicMonkey and um, Canva are where we can actually create content. So my free five day meal planning thing, that book, you guys might look at that and be like, oh my gosh, that's really overwhelming. Well, I know staff already did her, so she knows it's not, but um, you can actually go to like canva.com and this one I had never heard of. It's also free. And what I did, oh, let's see if I can remember my username and password. I'm as bad as my husband, especially this pregnancy. There's like, um, so no, um, I think, did I do it? With, oh, I did. Okay. Well, that would be why. Um, so on this one, it's where you can make like books. So no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Goodness gracious. Um, and it's really easy because I had actually taken that word. Okay. That's this one. Um, can't imagine what else it would be okay well I'll have to figure that out later um and it's a it's just a blank kind of canvas and that one I honestly would need to watch more tutorials on because it's but it's so user-friendly I didn't know how to do it I opened it and you can click on like a page you can have colors or you can have different like um it's almost like stationary if you will and you can just create a text box. And what I did was I dragged the text box thing and I copy and pasted one of my other coaches who had given me permission to share. Um, I had put all of my recipes into a document. And what she did, because she was good with technology, is before I ever even knew how to do it, she took all of that and copy and pasted it onto one of these Canva papers. It wound up being like a 24 page document. And she made a cover page for it that just said, like, you know, um, it was her clean eating book or whatever with her email and her contact information. She now had a free bunch of recipes, you know, grocery list, meal plans, swaps that she could send out to people. And Amanda, I know, has used that to build her business with her email collector that she did um, a great call on a, uh, about a month ago, where you can just start taking all of your contacts and things and sending them free, um, like a free eating book and most pe people love free but businesses grow from doing things for free in the beginning so um that you could very easily take like my clean eating book and as you find recipes that you like better replace mine with yours copy and paste them in there and use it so for pick monkey it takes you to the screen again you've got to be on a um on a computer and you can either design or edit it's kind of going to depend on if you've already created like a background or not so for me usually when i open this puppy up I go to design and before I click on it, I'm just hovering on it right now. It allows me to pick a square, a Facebook cover or whatever. So if you look at the Facebook cover, for example, um, it's really important to have a Facebook cover. That's a, it's about your, who you are as a coach, right? It's important for us to have our, our profile picture be like either a professional headshot or like a good whatever we're gonna and then even if you want your family on there you'll see that amanda and i have done ones where we've blended um our family or whatever so both of these covers from my regular personal page and from my business are ones that i have done on pick monkey just using that and and it's easier than you thought this one was really easy because all i did was take and i'll show you how to do this really easily um Where's that pick monkey? So you go to open over here on the left, up at the top. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That would take a whole thing. Go to this little butterfly. And what these are on the side is there's like a 
that you can do kind of like filters and whatnot. There's a little portion I'm going to touch up. So there's different, there's different colors. Like I could make this entire background right now pink, let's say, and then you click apply. And now that's safe. You can change that in a given moment. And these are all different things I'll show you how to use, but I usually am first adding an image. So I'll go to this butterfly and up at the top, it says add your own. So I click on that and it opens up on my computer, right? So let's say I want to take a picture of my family and I'm going to do like a faith family fitness and have that be my background. It now places it there. You can take this little arrow and just expand small. You know, you can make the size bigger, but here's the really neat thing about it. So I could just do that, right? And put it there and put like three next to it or something. And I can add writing or whatever. I can also, you'll see that a box opened right here whenever you add an image. There's an eraser on here. And I only just realized there's something that makes it much easier and quicker for you guys to do than I ever knew. So let's say I am trying to make an ad and I don't want all that background stuff. I'm just gonna have like some writing and something about the business. This little thing here on the left is an eraser. When I click on this, there's two things, size. So if I hover here, you can see that the size of my eraser is really small. So it's gonna take me a long time. So I make this size, I drag it over here so it's bigger. And on the hardness, I'm gonna drag it and make it smaller. If it's hard, that means it's making a really sharp line. So like if my hardness is way up here, look at how like that's a, completely straight line and it's it's going to be kind of jagged if I bring the hardness all the way down which is what I do almost every single time it's going to make it like a soft see how it like makes it kind of uh almost like blurred so it's it's okay if it's not like this perfect line people can kind of tell well the neat thing is so I can get rid of the fluff outside if I want if I just wanted it to be like my family which you'll see I do a lot of times on my ads I'll just have like my face or something well, let's say I'm going fast, or you're just not good with this, because it took me a while. Let's say I'm trying to get it, like, perfectly to my husband's, like, leg. Okay, and then look, but now there's pink on his jeans, <laughs> and there's pink here. And let's say I'm like, oh, shoot, I moved it, and it went too far. I only recently found out that you can paint back. So then you click on this paintbrush right here, and now when you go over, it's going to bring that back. So you can see that you could really easily, you know, just have, let's see, so I can kind of keep it somewhat close like that. Okay, so let's say that that's what I wanted to do. You know, that could just be a pop-up. And then I could take text over here, so the big T and capital T button. You click Add Text, and it's going to open up the text box. You get to pick. And what I like about this is there's way more um, really cool writing styles and things like that. The ones that say that they're new are you can use. The one with a crown right here next to it, that's a royal feature, which means that you have to upgrade. And I don't even know how much. I've only ever used the free trial. Um, but there's some really cool, like what the top and the elite coaches use. They use this for almost everything too. And they'll just have, they get some of those cooler form of cards and things. So let's say I was going to write like, you know, um, you know it's probably not the right thing. Let's say I was going to do this, and I was going to write, like, five-day coach sneak. So now I can take this and expand it and make it bigger, right, and put this up at the top. And there are so many neat things that I've learned how to do with this to make it eye-catchy, like I said. So if you go back to this little butterfly, there's everything here, you guys, from – geometric when you click on that there's going to be boxes and circles there's hearts so the cover i showed you on facebook all i did was open up my pictures i literally aligned them you can see i didn't even erase or cut i i just simply placed them in like a collage and then i took these little hearts and just added text within them and now you guys could already do that because oops because you would see that all I would have to do is go to like, I think this was the heart that I used, and it shows you that there's two colors. And all I did was change this color by hovering over it um, so that my outside color is like a white. And then you can even make this inside color transparent if you click this box. So now you only have the outline. 
Okay, so there's that. You could also, then you can add text or you can keep it a color, you know, the two different colors. And so on these, not only is there squares, so when you guys saw me put, like I might do a square like this and change the color to white and then write like, let's see here, move this over here or something. And for the text, I'm not actually trying to make this ad, but I'm just trying to show you guys the different features, of course. So I could hover over. Now, this is the one thing that I've noticed about PicMonkey. If this is like a moving object that I've just pasted this, let's say I wanted to make a list in here that said like how we make money, like a bullet, how we make money, another bullet, like what we do, another bullet, like who we are, another bullet, you know, um, if... I'm going to add a text box on top of this. Like I can do that. Who we are, like what we do, how we make money. Um, that, like why it isn't selling or something like that. Now watch, if I get out of this and I drag this and it's here, right? Here's the only issue with this. And this is where I get sometimes caught up with timing. Is then when I go back and I try to click on the writing, it's gonna click on that text box, right? Because both of those things have just been pasted there. It doesn't really know which one you want. So a lot of times I have to move my text box out of the way to get to my image or to get to my writing to edit that, to come back. The way around that is, if you were like, oh, this looks good, this is what I want. I want a white box there. Now I'll add all of my fonts after. What I do is I come up here to save and I save this to my computer, let's say to my desktop. So it'll give you the option of to name this and where you want to save it by this little like, you know, drop down here. And I can save it. And then when I go back to the original PicMonkey screen, there was that edit to edit. So we clicked on design because we were designing something from scratch. So you could actually open up this and it will open up as a Facebook cover. It would look just like that. And then you could add the writing on top and you're not going to have to deal with all the different boxes. You know what I'm saying? Because that white one was already kind of spent. So that's one option. Sometimes for sake of time, I just sit in here doing it, whatever. But um, a couple neat things to do with graphics to make it really pop. So you'll notice on my fit with follow one. Oh, actually, well, I'll show you my, um, for my, my like page, okay? So this... Kim McCluskey Fitness. I only recently did this um, maybe three, four weeks ago. I watched two different YouTube videos because I was like, how does everybody, I don't even know how to make my cover clickable. And I kept hearing that you want your cover to be clickable so that you could be like, you know, like how I put ready to get fit with faith. Click here, right? Looking at, the, this looks to me like, well, it looks nice, but I'm a perfectionist. So I'm like, oh, I should have made those circles black. And oh, I need to change. So of course I already want to change it. But um, it was good just to get something up. And so for me, I love Cape Cod, and my one of my biggest dreams has always been to have a house on the beach. And what Beachbody's done for me continuously is teaches me how to exercise my faith, not just have it. It's super hard. Like I, every day, this has just been like my training ground for everything I'm learning and my faith and where I exercise it. And for me, from a life of fear, Beachbody's the first thing I didn't quit or give up on. My like mission, I really want to help people learn how to stop giving up on themselves. And I really want them to learn how to have faith in themselves and to just not give up so easily, whether it's the fitness aspect, the coaching aspect. Um, I've had a billion reasons that I could have quit up so far from, from my coach to a lack of support, to a lack of change, all these things. And it, it took me realizing like, I need to, I need to do it. Like I, I'm my own responsibility. If I want to succeed, I got to do it. So I decided like, if I want my dreams to come true, I'm going to have to like get rid of my fear and exercise my faith. And that was where I kind of came up with my little, like almost like a slogan. Right. So I went into pick monkey. And I'm like, I want to get to this dream in my beach house on Cape Cod one day and be a writer there. And so that's going to be what like inspires me when I look at it every day. So I went and found a Google image and you can see what I did was I just dragged it open on a Facebook cover. And how I did this is something that I didn't know. So that is what I'll show you. And it's actually super easy. So you can see from this little heart that all I did was click transparent on it and it took away the color of the heart and left just a border. So you can take this any one you want. You could do a heart, you could do a circle like I did. And so it would open up like that. And then what you do is drag it, you to the color, you click transparent, 
and now you're left with just the outline and you can make that outline whatever color you want. So let's say I wanted to do like I did on my professional page where I have three, you know, circles. And I've seen a lot of coaches do things like this and I had no idea how they, how they did it. So this is how you do it um, that I learned from this little YouTube video. So I would go back to this um, little um, butterfly and open up. So let's say I wanted to open up like a workout image like this one. Okay, so it opened up. I'm gonna move this thing over reverse here so it's out of my way. It opened up this image. I'm gonna hover it just right over and maybe downsize it a little bit since it won't fit the way it is. So now it's covering that thing. When I right click on the image, this box pops up. And I use this a lot where you can send something to the back, send it to the front, bring it forward. It's a neat feature of PicMonkey. So what I do is click send to back. Now it's behind that little circle just by clicking send it back. So it's like my image behind. Then I can make that image smaller. Let's say here and drag it. Drag it wherever I think like I would want it. Okay, so maybe like there you can see the weights. Okay. So when I've got it in the spot that I want it, now all I have to do is take the eraser. So I click up here on the eraser spot. I make sure my hardness is low. I make sure my size maybe not quite so big. And I go like this. Now, this is what I love is I can actually do this really fast. Now. I spent, you guys, two years going so slow, being so careful that I was just at the border. And now I know I don't have to be. I can go really fast because even if I cut out a little bit of picture, like I I've got everything off from the outside. I look at how much of the picture I took away. That looks terrible. All you do is click on the paint, and then I would make this size a little smaller. And on the inside, just go right around the perimeter. And this one I would know, so I'm just painting that picture back if I went too fast or got rid of too much. Just froze on me. Why did it do that? Okay, so I've got that back. So all of my images back here, and now I have a picture within a little bubble. And so, oops, I went a little bit outside there. So that I think is good. I think I got rid of all the pink and let's say there's a little spot like that down there then I can just go back to the eraser and just get rid of that little, little spot. So it's cool because now you can see like, okay, I have that. And if I want to make it bigger, I can just drag the border bigger, drag the picture bigger. Now you can see how easy it is to kind of create, you could take recipes, you could put a picture of food inside of one of those, a picture of you working out, and have another one. a picture of Shakeology, a picture of you and your family, you know, like doing things you love. And that's how you could create a, um, a you know, a more, um, a one that looks good. And I'll show you my Google Drive. And if you want to make it clickable, when I put here, ready to get fit with faith, click here. Well, this actually is kind of a trick. When you click on it, all it does is take you just like it always does to my writing is over here on the side where it tells people like, welcome to my page. And at the end of that, let me see if I can move this all the way. There's like a form they can fill out if they're interested in joining a challenge group or if they're interested in coaching or anything like that. So, and I can show you how to do Wufu forms on a different time for free because that's actually easy to do on learned how to do that as well. But so it's really just that you are typing. It doesn't really matter where on the image they click. It's just going to take them with Facebook to, um, you know, like any image you upload, is, you have the ability to put text. So it's like when you make a status with an image and there's text next to it, that actually is. But it looks good and it looks professional. And that's what you want as um, whether you're doing a like page for sure, or if you're doing, um, you know, an ad. So I'll open up and I'll end with this, the Google Drive and show you the kinds of things that I've created. And you can see, depending on the time of year, I already opened it, here it is. So I've done so much, you guys. So this, and honestly, it doesn't have to take long. This I found online. Oh, oh shoot, I forgot. It's gonna do this, isn't it? It never lets me view. Stop, you're gonna have to help me, essentially. All of the things that I've saved, it doesn't let me just click on it and view it. I don't know if I don't have like a Microsoft, whatever. So what I'll do is I'll just open a couple really quick in PicMonkey so you can see them. 
um, because I have no idea why I don't have something like that at all. So I'll go back. So I'll say, I don't have to even say that. You can go back, whatever, and open up. Let's see, go back. Oops. So I'll just go to Pick Monkey. And leave. So make something, I'm just going to, if you don't click on hover on the design and if you want a Facebook cover, of it, it'll just bring you to a square usually. So um, I will open up from my computer and my Google Drive. I have created so many ads, it's not even funny, um, and most of them were with PicMonkey. So something like this, this one turned out well. This is from my debt-free group. So this was, you can see up here where that seven day debt free is, that was just that geometric image I added and I added text over it. Then these little arrows, I use these a lot if you haven't noticed that. I just find it, it makes the writing pop, it's easy. So um, up here in the right hand corner, I uploaded an image from my bank that was actually a Facebook post I made when we got free. And so I simply opened the picture and expanded it. You can tell now how I just took a picture of me and all I did was get rid of the junk around it. And you can even see that like halo like look around it, right? Because I just used the blurry thing. And then I added in um, an arrow. And so when you want to add things over here on that um, little butterfly, you can go down to arrows. And so this little thing right here, um, these little arrows are kind of what I use a lot. Um, so you could see if I just clicked on one now, it just added a new one. You can just expand it, make it bigger, and then I'll add text on top of it. This is one of the ones I recommend if you're going to add a bunch of those. Once you get it to the way you like, I would save it, then open it back up to edit it and add your texting then because it will just be easier than having, it gets very frustrating and you'll quickly see why if you try when everything's moving in, the things that you want to be moving aren't and the things that you don't want to be moving aren't. And down here, the arrows are under this dashed and lined. Um, so there's a bunch of different ones. You can see, like, you could just make things really, really cool and eye-catchy, but it really doesn't take long. It just takes a little playing with it. Another one um, that I created, don't save. Let's see what else. Um, one that one was cool, I was posting about a challenge group. And so I literally just added everybody's pictures on the outside and put that a challenge. These were all my current challengers that were rocking it out, and I just wanted people to know it's a glimpse into a challenge group posting their workouts together, and this is what a challenge group is, and I just made some kind of post. Obviously, that one took me about a minute and a half. Um, this one was the one I did last month for the Mommy and Me clean eating group in PicMonkey. Um, that border thing right here over on the left-hand side, you'll see the frame button, and you can click on a frame, and it, you can just click on any one of these, and if you don't like it, you don't have to worry because it won't hang out there unless you click apply down you get to just kind of play around and see what you like. So I added a border on this one, a couple pictures of my kid that I opened up and just put that writing. But these things you can do a lot more with um, PicMonkey than you can with other ones. One of my favorite ones um, was actually, well, okay, so I did this one. You can see how coaching is really important that we're relevant to the times. So I was gonna share with everybody, um, I'll make a post about this that you gotta already know. I always tell people to map out your challenge groups. You should have them mapped out for like two months ahead of time, and this is why. Who raise your hand wants to work out on Thanksgiving? Well, okay, we're crazy coaches. Never mind. We probably do. Most people don't. And so I um, have been trying to think about, wait, I was going to start my challenge group on November, whatever, but I was like, no, I want to start it on like October 31st is, a, is Halloween, right? November 1st is a Tuesday. I think for the first time ever, I'm going to start my challenge group on a Tuesday so that it's three weeks and it's actually going to wrap up on like the day before Thanksgiving. Because most people, we have to remember who we're catering to. They're people that aren't, are not usually working out and they're falling off track and they're not. So I'm having it so that my group will start a couple days after Thanksgiving and it's going to wrap up on like Christmas Eve day. Like, so you want to be relevant time. And then you'll have another one starting hopefully like January 1st. So you've got to kind of map them out, have them planned so that their time, they make sense. timely wise for people. So this was one I did. I try to also think of not just the timing and the dates of the groups, but time of year. What are people needing right now? Hey, super busy. Back to school schedules. People might be needing crock pot meals. People might be needing like quick People are needing 
you know, it's Shakeology right now to help them because they just can't figure out how to do it all right now. Also, when people are starting to fall away, so like a fall back into fitness, here's what we're going to do. This one was like a, you know, starting on like the day after Valentine's Day. So I made it like a self-love challenge. And this was obviously really easy. These background images, by the way, you can go to Google and let's say you're like, hey, I don't know what to make my background. I'm going to background wood, like panel background. Okay, look at that. Go to images open it up and you can take any one of these and download it to your computer you could be like amanda's use this one i think for coach basic training or one like that some of them will have um nonsense on it so find one that doesn't but you can always find like a like a background so um the last one just to give you an idea they don't just have to be ads because to me when i look at something like that like a self-ledged challenge that doesn't scream advertisement as much as when i have a photo fi three you know thing that's got a picture of me and like a buy this and ten dollars off and it's just like a picture of the package or the shape right what i like about these is to me yes it's an advertisement for something but to me it doesn't scream like i'm trying to sell you something like I, it's a it's a sneak peek like i just put up a little quote and i get creative with taking a picture and here it starts but i don't know i don't I find a lot of people like these and i don't feel like it like, offends people should i say where it's like they're trying to um you know be sold something so the summer one i i did you guys saw the coach academy one i just did you guys saw i just took a border this was a cool background that i found and i just like you know put an autumn quote if you're tired of starting over stop giving out this is what you're going to get and yes this is an advertisement this one is but i like that i can use it a lot for things that aren't so back at the um where's my beach body ads here this one I created one that I liked for Ariel, which was do, 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 highlighting. I think it was just to like, we're supposed to, one of our vitals now is recognition. So it's important to be recognizing the people in our groups, our coaches, things like that. I've been dying to recognize stuff in Tina, but they won't let me know. So um, there's this image here where like, you know, you can see her progress. That was two week progress, which was just me. And it was so mind blowing that I was like, I need to, I need to show this to people. Like, and so I just got creative. Like she's up these things and she's down these. Rather than just being like, hey, she lost whatever pounds, come join me. I didn't really want it to be super healthy. I just wanted to show people her progress and recognize her and say what she's, you know, people are always so quick to focus on what they're going to have to give up. And I wanted to show them everything she's doing. Um, this one right here, I created it, um, a quick, cool thing for the holidays. So Cyber Monday, like, you know, we have businesses, right? So we, we are a small business owner. We've got to remember that Cyber Monday, you know, Black Friday, we should always be doing something for those things. So I came up with a little offer. I found an image of a, you know, ornament and, and here we go. I put a couple people's results and I, I did a raffle where anybody who like shared that image on their page and tagged friends or whatever was entered in to win a gift card. So you can use PicMonkey to do almost anything. And the last one I'll show you if it's still here, it was one of the ones I was most proud of. And it was um, a non-scale victory. You know what, I'm at the post on the team page just because it's not, it doesn't look like it's here. And it was, I was showing people what non-scale victories actually are. This was a meal prep group. Um, so it's probably saved in some random file on my computer, so I'll find it. But it was really, really, really cool because I used, I, I took a little bit longer with that one. You can obviously take longer with PicMonkey. Um, and show people, I wish I remembered where I put that one, but I used kind of images and things like that um, to all the little, I don't, yeah. You can, you can spend a lot of time. So what I'll say is you can absolutely waste time on PicMonkey. I think at the beginning, it just helps to kind of play with it so that you're like, oh, this does that. It's trial and error. Um, but the videos that I, um, what, what I watched, and just to show you how easy it is, I don't know how to do to this day anything like this that everybody else seems to know how to do. Um, so what I do, let me do this again, is every single time there's something that I'm like, okay, like I I don't know how to set up an email collector. I don't know, like that that cover photo, I was like um, creating, what did I do? Pick monkey clickable banner is what I searched on YouTube. And it brought me to... YouTube banner tutorial using PicMonkey, eight minutes. Um, how to make a YouTube banner channel art, do it yourself. I watched that one. Um, and so you can see it was watched, this fashion by Allie. I watched that one. 
And then the other one, I'll, I'll click, put the link when I post this team call on the team page, I'll put the link to the one that I watched. But I found, I tried to find ones that were like five or eight, 10 minutes, but look at, I mean, everything, this is how I've trained myself on anything and anything is just going to YouTube and finding somebody that I don't know how to do. They taught me, I took notes and then I tried. And I realized sometimes it's frustrating because it's like, I, I wish Amanda would have just showed me exactly how to do this. And then I would know how, um, but you know what, like once you get to solve your eyes, it's it's so hard. We all have different things in our lives that pop up and it would be, it's no one's responsibility to show anybody exactly, you know, I'm not your boss. That is not my boss. And I had to make that shift. Like we're all business owners. And so it's up to us to train ourselves and do what we need to do um, to succeed because we all have different weaknesses and strengths. It would be impossible for me to show everybody everything they know how to do and hold their hand through everything. And I don't ever want people waiting on me like, Hey, I wish I knew how to do this. And I, I don't have that time that week or when they need it to show them. So that's why you just got to have that self-starter attitude. Like, okay, I'm going to go to this web page. I'm going to figure it out. Um, and that's what I've gotten the most on in my business. Guys, I've spent hours lately trying to figure out how to do what I'm trying to do with my blog. And I was in tears last night over it to my husband. I was like, I just can't. It's taking me 30 hours to learn how to do one thing. I wish somebody could have just told me. I wish I could just pay somebody to come into my house and tell me. <laughs> it's frustrating. But I still believe it's worth it. Like, you know, I, I think that everybody kind of starts off this way. So hopefully that helped you a little bit because even that stuff, it took me so long to learn how to do by myself, but um, it will help you create some scroll scoping, scoping posts, I hope. And I think, and um, hopefully banners and things like that. Do you guys have any questions on anything from that? No. What's okay. the, the other, you said Photify, PicMonkey, Canva, and Word something? Yeah, well, the two that are apps for your phone are um, PicMonkey is the easy one. Or I'm sorry, Photofy, P-H-O-T-O-F-Y is the easy one just to like put anything up. You can open up a text, throw a little quote on there, you're good to go. Um, and then Word Swag, it's one word, I believe, um, is the one I use that I feel like just has more professional writing filters. Cool. It's just neat. It looks a little more um, clean cut. I use that one a lot for my recipes and things like last night. And then the two that you use on your computer to actually create like eBooks or like, you know, um, Facebook banners and things like that. And those nicer ads are PigMonkey, obviously, and then Canva, which is C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, so I will upload this. So if anybody needs to rewatch any part of it, I had to do that a lot with my YouTube videos where I paused it and went back, paused it and went back as I was trying to do it. I'll post that with a couple videos that I watched that helped me do this stuff for my light page and for um, the ads. And then um, I think probably the next call we'll probably talk about keeping things like time relevant, like actually thinking of what groups and how to kind of market based on the different season with Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas and then going into New Year's how we can like maximize um, our, you know, make the challenge groups and the, the kind of marketing that we're doing and the offers and promotions and things like we'll talk about all that stuff, I think um, would probably be a good topic, but we'll see what everybody thinks. So, all right, ladies, well, I'm going to go grab my son from school. I got to be there in nine minutes. So, um, and I will talk with you guys soon. I hope you have a great day.